What's going on guys, Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video, I will be showing you guys five cool features about the 2016 Honda Civic. So let's get started. the coolest features about this car is that you see if I walk over to the fuel door and I push it nothing happens so it's locked so let's say we unlock the vehicle as you can see now we can go ahead and fill it up which is a capless system since the vehicle is open I can open it now if we lock the doors it no longer will open so unlock you can hear the little mechanism so yeah you don't have to press any button or anything as long as the car is locked it will not open so as usual it's pretty windy outside and i'm going to show you guys the second cool feature about the civic so this is particularly i only know it on the touring models i'm not sure if this is actually on all the trims let me know in the comments below but yeah so if you have the killer entry fob with you which i think you would all the time you would want to press the unlock once and then hold it second time and what it will do it will roll down all the windows and also open the sunroof so you would press it once unlock the vehicle hold it and you can see that now it's rolling down all the windows as well opening the sunroof now you can see that the front passenger and driver side window is rolled down so is both the passenger side rear windows are also down now in order to close it it won't really work with the key fob so what you want to do is take the key out which is a bit weird but you want to take the key out and then walk to the vehicle with the key so like you will take this key out right and then you would walk in and you would insert it here like so you would turn it to the front of the vehicle so to the left of me once to lock it and then you would hold it second time to the left position and this will close the sunroof all the windows and you're ready to go then put the key back in the key fob now the next thing i want to show you guys is the opening the trunk manually so now these cars have the electrical trunk release and all that stuff so let's assume your battery is that on your civic and you want to open the uh, trunk but you can't because it's electric and if you go and hold this example right now it would open because the battery is good obviously there's a switch right over here to the uh, driver's side door so you could obviously press this and open it but this is an electrical switch so if you don't have battery power in your civic it will actually not open and there's also a switch over to the trunk but again it's electric so if you do not have battery power it will not open so how would you actually open the trunk if your car battery is dead so the thing is you take the key out again go back to seat now using the key as you can see over here to the driver's side rear part of the car there's this uh, compartment here so what you want to do it is unmarked you just want to lift it up using the key like this or anything sharp and then you would actually pull this thing here so as you can see and by pulling this it will actually unlock the trunk as you guys can see now the trunk is unlocked and you can access the trunk where the battery is dead one more time I'll show you I'm gonna pull it and you'll see that the trunk is going to open which is very cool so the fourth cool thing for the Civic in this list is actually the infotainment system here so the cool thing is you can actually go ahead and fully customize uh, the background have a live wallpaper change the entire way this whole thing looks you obviously have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and everything like that but the coolest part is is that if you go to settings example here there's like multiple ways so let's go to settings and then I'm gonna go ahead and click system 
Then from here, I'm gonna go up once and then select detailed information. Then we would go over to the display and we can go to wallpaper and then we'll select live wallpaper and you have all this kind of cool uh, little wallpapers you can select, okay? So let's say we wanna have magic smoke or something like that, which is there. But then let's say we wanna have this uh, little thing. So we're gonna click set wallpaper, okay? And if I go over to the home settings here, as you can see now, we have that cool wallpaper right over there. Now, another thing you can do is you can go over to the settings again, go to system, and then you can go over to the um, change skin. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. So change skin, and then we're gonna select next, and then say yes. And what this will do, it will actually go ahead and change the, uh, the thing to look like almost like a phone. So as you can see, it looks like this. Uh, if you wanna go to settings example, it just looks like this now. Whenever it loads, there you go. Uh, and you can do the exact same thing for the wallpapers and things like that. So if we go to system again, then we go up once, and then we go to detailed information, and then display. We will go to wallpaper, and then we can go live wallpapers, and then we're gonna select that one again, and then set wallpaper example. And now this is kind of what the home screen looks like. And again, you can go ahead and customize the whole way it is. So if you wanna move example something, so let's say we go to system now, home screen, oops, not that one. So let's say we go over to the home screen edit order, what this will do, it will go ahead and allow me to, let's say, move this here, move that there, things like that. Uh, and this will go, I don't know if you can move it. Oh yeah, you can. There we go. So now this is kind of what the home screen looks like. So if you get what I'm trying to say, like you can literally very nicely customize this whole thing very easily. So that's pretty cool. So the next cool feature about the Civic is actually its right side camera. So there's a camera right underneath the right side view mirror. And if I go ahead and use my turn signal, as you can see, it opens up this nice camera where it will allow me to see exactly where I'm pulling in, if there's a curb uh, whatsoever, how far away I'm from the curb, which is pretty cool. Um, another cool feature is, is that you can actually go ahead and manually turn it on. So as you can see, my turn signal is off. If I press this button in, it will go ahead and activate that. And you can actually drive like that if you'd like. So there it is, as you can see, it's active, no turn signal whatsoever or anything like that. But let's say you're pulling in or something like that, you can literally do that. So the best part about this is I believe it's mainly for curbs or something. I would still prefer to turn my head and look what's in my blind spot or something like that. But it's a pretty cool little feature, but I don't understand why they don't have one on the left side. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but you know, it's still pretty cool because um, if there's a curb there, it will protect you from, I guess, uh, curbing your wheels, let's say. So that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. There will be about two or three more videos on the Civic because it is going back. So I will be uh, definitely uh, trying to do this all today and upload them for you guys. So that being said, see you guys next time. Bye, guys.